what's up, guys? It's real with Jordan Dimmy. I'm here in LA. Dimmy is in New York. What's up, Dimmy? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Uh, Dimmy's got a new microphone. It sounds good, Dimmy. Sounds Excuse real good. Me. Thank yeah. you. Today, we have two guests. They just did a song together. <laughs> uh, Jacob Sartorius and yes. Audrey Mika. What's going on, guys? Hello. It's going Hi. good. A lot of stuff going on. And let me ask just up front, do you guys for like the handheld mics as opposed to like the podcast that have the big arms coming in, you know, like, no, I like the handheld handheld. Okay. I think, yeah. I think yeah. it's winning. I think handheld handheld is winning. Uh, we've had some good feedback previously. All right. So let's start off with this song. You guys got uh, lonely. Um, yeah. so first of all, how do you know each other? Um, just th online for like the past couple years. And uh, I guess we actually met in person at a meet and greet like a long time ago. Yeah, I actually bought a ticket to Jacob's show in 2017 and as a fan. And I met him like at the meet and greet. And then like a couple years later, we like followed each other for real. Okay, pause. Why do I feel like this is like a very Hailey Bieber, Justin Bieber moment? Mm. Oh, we're not no. married. But <laughs> well, wait, how did they meet? Is, did they meet? Did they meet because because she was a fan? <laughs> because Haley had it, went to his oh, concert. Yeah. No, but like it was totally like this scenario. It's yeah, insane. yeah. It's like one of those. Um, not the same turnout, but yeah. It, but uh, like, Audrey, <laughs> are you? Uh, are, your dad's not a uh, an actor, is he? No. Okay. Okay. So I think yeah. there's something really cool about internet <laughs> friends, though. I actually, yeah. I think I think a lot of my like like friends right now i've actually met through the internet and shout out to platforms that can kind of connect artists and connect you know just people in general so yeah we we're just talking about internet friends we'll get to that in a minute uh yeah. so you guys became friends over uh, online and so how did the collaboration start like how did you oh well actually we after we met in 2017 then we met again at the landon barker show Yes, we did. And then we were like, let's let's lock in. Let's, let's get a do it. session. Let's go. And then go. we like, got in the studio maybe like a week later, and we wrote Lonely. That was like the first song we ever wrote together and came out. Like the actual making of the song, like who wrote it, where did the concept? Because it's, it's kind of a bummer of a song. It's not mm. an uplifting, happy song. That's a good way. It's to like put the it. opposite of that uh, Doja Cat Post Malone song. It's like the opposite of that. Yeah. yeah. It's like how low can we go? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the process was, I think, I got a random text from Audrey one day that was like, "Hey, you want to come to the studio?" And then I was like, "You know what? No. What are? You, why are what? you lying? What was the story? Tell the story then. No. I don't know. The Whoa. story is at the show. We, we were like a day. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never mind. Okay. At the show, we booked a day. And then that day, uh, I showed up to the studio, and I brought my guitar. And then there was a guy named Adam who's over there, and a guy named Mikey who goes by Young Sum. Yeah. And it was us four, and then and Audrey's dog. I forget his name. What's his name? Marvin. <laughs> Marvin. Don't forget Marvin. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna Shout bring out Marvin. him actually, Shout but out then Marvin's I was room. like probably best. Shout out to yeah. Marvin. Yeah, named after Marvin's room, the Drake song. No. <laughs> yes, it was named after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and so then I started playing random stuff on the guitar, and everyone didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's true, right. I played a bunch of stuff, and then everyone was like, "No, not that." All right. And then I started playing this one thing, and then people were like, "That's kind of cool." Didn't end up being on the song because we it went through different rounds of production but it got the idea and then we all just collaboratively i don't know if that's the word but we just all worked together on writing the song and we were just seeing uh seeing it through and like in like 45 minutes or an hour we pretty much had it yeah oh. it was a very easy process which sometimes can be rare especially off like the first session you never know how it's going to Go. Sorry, they're on their phones back there, just playing. What Audrey's is it music. like to work I with had to be each mine. other? Like from, like in in your guys's words, one at a time. What's it like to work with the other person? I think, yeah, I'm curious. Audrey, you first. Flatter me. Wait, wait. Can you repeat that question again, Jacob? What is it like to work with Audrey? 
Okay, put me on the spot here. I thought it was Audrey first, but and um, vice versa. Okay, uh, it is. Uh, it's an interesting experience. Interesting. Whoa! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Whoa. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Uh, that's the part where everybody laughs. Um, <clears throat> Uh, no, it's really fun, and uh, Audrey's super talented and has a really good voice and good ideas, and then Thanks, Jacob. so it's very easy and fun. I mean, I would have to say the same. I I hadn't like I went into it not really expecting anything, and I was just like, oh, I feel like we're gonna have a really good. So you time. had like a low bar to begin with. Yeah, she expected no, me to come in and start making music. No, that's not what I'm saying. Voice. Not at all. I just I always go into <laughs> new sessions with like no expectations yeah. because if I set high expectations, then I just know I'm going to jinx it somehow and then it won't go good or whatever. And so I was just like, oh, I already like Jacob. So I was just excited to be able to You like to me? Mm. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the other question, uh, Audrey, as um, – you know, since you knew Jacob as you were a fan of his music and went to a show and all that stuff, what was it like to I meet? think she was a fan of my music, Lise. Yeah, your music. We'll get into that in a second. Yes. But but um, what was it like to meet the, meet, meet the actual person after being a fan? Did, did that part meet your expectations? Like, No, she said I was weird. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, it was, it was better. Because it is than... kind of a strange experience to go from, like, fan Absolutely. to collaborator. Absolutely, yeah. It was, well, it was just, like, cool because... Yeah. I think it was probably one of the most full circle moments yeah. as well, because uh, when we met, he was like, what, you would have been like 16 or something. Yeah. And and so when we met again, you're a lot older and just like more mature and not making music leads anymore. So he was more of like a developed I human. Yeah. So it was cool to see that. Yeah. And and. And Jacob, the, the second part there, what was it like to work with Audrey? Uh, it's amazing, you know, like, um, I didn't even know that we had met in a meet and greet. Like, I did, kind of. Mm. But I was just a fan because, um, like, I just knew Audrey's music and then we just followed each other and I didn't even remember that. And then one day Audrey DM'd me, like, the meet and greet photo and was like, oh my gosh. And then it clicked for me. I do remember taking that because we did a ballet pose. And I do remember that was like a different. I, that was when I was still dancing, mm. and I went with my friend that also danced with me, and we were both like, "What if we made Jacob mm -hmm. like do a ballet pose?" And he hit it kind of. I hit that. You hit that. You hit that. He hit that. Yeah. He no, one thing I actually really was curious about for Lonely was we talk about. Okay, I feel like nowadays, speaking of the internet, right? It's like someone does something. It's like just block them. Just block. So you talk about text going green, right? In the song only. Jacob, who blocked you? Like who blocked you? Who blocked Jacob? Uh, well, I got a song coming out with a girl's name. She blocked me. <laughs> oh. The and I'm gonna. I'm, I, the tea's hot. And I'm telling you, I, I'm not gonna hold back when this song drops. Um, she actually tried calling me the other night, but um, her texts are about to go green soon. Oh. Shout out, let's go. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I Okay, that sounds really mean. The shame. Okay, she actually she did block me and a couple other people have blocked me before. It was just like a, there wasn't actually a person in mind with that. It was just like I miss who you were before my text started turning green. I just thought it was like, you know. That's a good that's a good emo that's a bar. And that's a good, yeah, that's that's a, a good line. That's a good line. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, Black Bear would say sometimes something like that. Sometimes you just gotta block them. Oh, yeah. That's you know what I mean? Bear, sometimes sure. we don't have to block them, but sometimes you just have to block them. You know what I mean? Come on. Right. You know, it's for your own. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, for so her, she... Okay, when she blocked me, I don't know why she would do that. But when I block her, it's for my mental health. That's what I'm saying. So shout yes. out. It's only right when I block somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only you can do that. Only I can block people. Let's go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm no. actually curious who's in your block list other yeah. than this person oh uh, let's see is it in the Who's tens that? or in the hundreds well okay for different reasons it's probably in the hundreds because um <laughs> no but because my number got leaked oh okay so i just sure. had to start blocking so all good. the numbers that called me one of my friends back in the day worked at a music store and he got snoop dogg's number because snoop dogg came in to oh buy an instrument or something and he like Spread Snoop Dogg's number everywhere. No, so see, see, yeah. can't do that. Can't Shout do that. Bad form. Can't bad do that. form. <laughs> Audrey, uh, I noticed your, your tooth gems. You got some 
do you have like a tooth, like a gym, like a gym person you go to or those like, you know, did you do those yourself or? No, I, I have a girl in, uh, in uh not far from here actually that does it she has like three kids and they're Angie? always no. no i just made that up i don't know <laughs> kim, kim oh kim okay name. shout out yeah. kim shout out kim, kim. kim the tooth gym artist yeah she's my Sheesh. girl yeah um so audrey want to ask you a question here um you you know you did a lot of youtube covers that's kind of how you started out or whatever um when you chose youtube covers like what to sing was it a difficult decision or were you like, oh, I like this song. I'm going to sing it tonight. Cause some people are like really careful. And some people are like, you know, I heard the song, you know, earlier today and I'm recording it now. Cause yeah. you kind of had like your style when you started out was kind of lo-fi. You didn't have a lot of like fancy equipment and stuff. So like, how did you, how did you, yeah. So yeah. how do you choose your songs, your cover songs? Um, I mean in the beginning, yeah, it was always like, Oh, I just like this song. It's a classic. I always did like, pretty popular songs obviously because they would do better but then but then i started doing the strategy where i would cover songs the day after they released oh nice and they would always be like yeah. billy eilish covers ariana grande covers those were like the big ones that people oh she's knew me smart for. Uh, and i would just spend oh, yeah. the whole night like memorizing it just playing it over and over and then the next day i would film and and drop it like the day and then it would always be at the top of the search because the song just came damn, out damn girl and so that was kind of the strategy but i still like had fun with it and, yeah that's that's a yeah. good and do you ever get any uh like issues with youtube like copyright things or anything like that um you know i still have no idea what, what about that the new ariana means. grande one yeah i got blocked she blocked me she like she, she didn't block me herself, ariana grande like, what's yeah, good with it <laughs> her label, What's good? Her, her label shut Why'd you do it? that? Ari, what no. are you doing? She <laughs> unblocked me, though. Okay. But yeah, it was like temporarily blocked from the world. Really funny. And then like from two weeks world, later, like it world. was like half blocked. So half, okay. now I think you can watch it again. Okay. So check out. Uh, oh, it's back? I think so. Oh. I don't know. I have to check. Are you going to do the, did you, oh, I was going to say, because Selena Gomez just dropped a new song, too. So. I'm probably not going to cover oh, that song, okay, but so. I love Selena Gomez. Whoa, Gomez's. that sounded a little bit like there was some attitude behind it. I I like, just, just an like, observation. I'm not going to uh, cover Selena Gomez. I'm not going to say anything else. Speaking of Whoa. famous people now, I don't want to embarrass you, Audrey, but you have you have a famous fan that we were talking about earlier. Famous um, fan? Yeah. Uh -oh. you, uh, you, it rhymes you, with... Who? Wizza. Lizza. Uh, <laughs> yes, so. that's right. Uh, Audrey has been getting some love from SZA lately. No way. Comments, likes, but you have shares, you, retweets, subscriptions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, all that stuff. But you, but you have you haven't met her, correct? I haven't met her, and I haven't actually had a conversation with her. But I have been such a fan of her for so many years, and I'm like, I can't even say how honored I am. It's going to happen. Like, me. Because of this podcast, she watches this actually. podcast. So, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Wait, I Demi, totally. Who's your like dream collaborator aside from like SZA, which is going to happen? I feel it like, coming. Uh, I mean, that is like such a, such a yeah, dream. That would be so cool i feel like it's not far out of my reach especially because she sees me and knows who i am That's but right. it's just about finding the right time but yeah that would be a crazy a you're, wonderful yeah collab. you're waiting for that dm from like like scissors rep or like, like I'm, the from, email. I'm from i'm 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 from scissors team and we're yeah exactly or i just want her to dm me i have like, so many i've, so, I've heard stuff. so many stories of artists getting emails from like record companies and managers and they have to like double check if is, is this real you know yeah. like that shit's wild jacob do, do you have a dream collaborator i think the backpack kid jacob <laughs> the backpack i'm not i'm not familiar I'm... you said the backpack kids yeah the backpack kid <laughs> no way who's that legend the floss he does the floss he's now a producer he just dropped a piano album Big fan. We'll have to. We'll have to. I yeah. love that guy. Yeah, we'll throw up. We're not. Um, maybe another one would be. Uh, you mm -hmm. know who followed me the other day? This is a random one. We don't want to Justin know. Bieber's little brother. 
Oh. So maybe, you know, I just slide in the brother's DM and go, hey, bro, you know, just like I'm one step closer to that collab. Yeah, Justin. Yeah. I think Justin Bieber would be an iconic I don't think you would appreciate it. Well, I think you were kind of like a just, right. you were like Justin Bieber 2.0. Like mm. you kind of took a similar kind of path. In fact, I'm that, like Justin Bieber from Wish. I swear, Justin Bieber, <laughs> Timu, Timu, Justin Bieber. Timu, <laughs> No, but for real, oh, there's, that, there's that show, The Other Two, that's like a parody. Yeah. I swear that's more about you than Bieber. Like, no, they, the mom's name is the same name as my mom. Yeah. Did, they, they literally, like, that show's pretty much about me. So we, I, my whole family knows about that show. Okay, I thought we I was. All, we all talk about. Okay, it. so that's a, that's a thing. We I've never had. I did. Ha, I haven't interviewed someone from the show. I've interviewed Caitlin Tarver, Drew's okay. sister, who was on the show. But yeah, I I was like, that's more Jacob than it yeah. is Bieber. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great show. I think yeah. it's funny. Did you find it like too too close to home at all? Uh, no. But I, I thought it was a good concept for a show. Yeah. And I thought it was really ironic how the names of the characters were very close to yeah real life. But I think mm. um, I know um, uh, what's the lead guy's real name? Uh, we follow each other. He's super yeah. cool. Okay. We'll we'll put him up. The lead guy. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. We'll him Pop the, him up on the screen. Wait, he, he a legend. Yeah. Call the. Call the legend patrol. <laughs> Let's go. What's I wanted to keep with you guys for a second because I feel like artists, yes, but also artists with like big like social media presence, right? It's like I bet your fans see a lot of the cool stuff and a lot of like just everything that goes on in your life that's like that comes with being, you know, with your with your everyday. But like what I really want to know is like what is it like to really walk in your shoes? You know what I mean? Like that maybe or walk in my aware. slides. Yeah, got the slides. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. I'm just having fun. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trolling a lot here. Um, I'm going to be really serious for the next part of this podcast. We need, we need a real serious. Sorry this about is this. Is like we're entering the series. Yeah, I feel like I'm 13 years old. No, but for real, what I was curious about because you have like 12 million Instagram followers. Um, they're all fake. They're all fake. Uh, you've got you know like you're not you're not like European soccer star level of followers. You're not like you know. <laughs> Um, you know, Ronaldo, yeah, Messi, caliber. Yeah. Um, but I'm, can you use Instagram like a normal person? Like, I just think about just alert after alert after alert. Like you can't do anything on Instagram cause you're just getting constantly alerted on stuff. Uh, I mean, actually like, yeah. Or is there like a celebrity? Much, Instagram I watch memes that, like, and that's like what I do. With it. Okay. You're a meme. I love memes. Audrey. How do you, how do you treat Instagram, social media? Like, what do you browse? Like, what do you also memes? Yeah. Yeah. Because everything else is just like garbage for my brain, but not memes. Yeah. Memes you got, are you got a current favorite, current favorite meme. Current favorite meme is. Um, <laughs> no. Oh, man. I like this guy. I have to look at my phone because I, I save them. My boy Davis. Like, I. He, I love him. Like, he's not a meme, I wouldn't say, but he's my favorite Instagrammer right now. He's like, what up, guys? The haters are absolutely gassed right now. Mm. And he's just like a motivational. <laughs> he's like he's like David Goggins, but like on Instagram. And he's really taking off right now. I'd love to do something with him. Yeah, we'll hook that up. Again, Please. we're, we're going to make all these dreams come true. Please make them come true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Jacob, I, you know, you, you talked about musically earlier. Um, I, I'm just curious about, First of all, let me time out. I it's hate a really touchy. Subject, I hate. So well, be I also just. I also am just tired of saying I'm curious. I say that too much. I'm yeah. curious. No, but for real, um, going from you know kid music from the uh, you know uh, taking a, um, the other two like I want to marry you recess that was the big song okay. like that that yeah. kind of stuff your early stuff sweatshirt yeah. you know um, going into more adult adult themed music. Yeah. Has that been hard, difficult? Did you like consciously like, okay, this next song needs to be more mature? Like, what was it like with you and your manager, your team to like kind of like make the adult Jacob, yeah. you know? Oh, uh, that's a good question. I think, yeah, it's like, how do I share where I'm at? Because if I stay locked into where I was, then the music gets stuck. And so that was a conscious decision was to, you know, age it up and with where age I'm it up. at. Age it up, <laughs> please. Uh, no, but... Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, just like, okay, if I think the music now is really, it represents where I'm at. Yeah. And the music to come is a little bit more going back to that original pop sound, like the future music, but it's still sharing where I'm at, but 
through a more universal sound. So I'm really excited for the next stuff. But all the, in the past three years, the music's really been like just so self-reflective that it almost has allowed me to learn more about myself, but it might not have connected at the level as the earlier music did just because it wasn't made for other people. It was really just made for me. And then I'm, I got to get back to making those songs that people really do like, but in a way that still shares where I'm at, like the 21 year old Jacob, the Jacob that can grow facial hair, the Jacob that let's go. Hell yeah. You know, do you think, are you about that life? Like, are you, do you think you're going to about that? Life. I don't even know what that means. Wait, what? Are you, are we gonna see like a like a Jacob beard in the future? Do you think? Yeah, uh, I had a mustache, but this guy behind the camera made me <laughs> shave it. Why? Can, the managerial team. He stepped he in. controls me. I don't like that. I think. Jacob's a puppet. Yeah, I don't like that either. <laughs> I, I think you should try to bring him in. Be. Anthony, come on. Free Jacob. <laughs> Free Jacob. Free Jacob. <laughs> Free Jacob. <laughs> yeah, my, oh, my, my, oh. my mom didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I had a, I had this mustache. Oh, but I do some uh, acting stuff. So for an audition, I had to shave it. And then I just have been shaving it ever since. But I'll oh. grow it back. One day I want to be like Rick Rubin where I just have gray hair and a beard down to here. And you just like sit cross-legged all the time and say really yeah, what, wise that things. That would be hard. And I could just drop words of wisdom yeah. all the time. That would be fun. Like to find art, you must find the beauty in the air. Yeah. You what know? is art? Mm -hmm. Write a book. Oh, my <laughs> God. Honestly, Ooh. you should write a book. I yeah. wouldn't. I you wouldn't. should tell your story. It wouldn't be grammatic. Wait, here's a good question. Who would play you if you're doing the Jacob Sartorius story and you're doing the Adramika story? Like, who would play you in a movie? Who would you want? You go first. Movie? I don't know. Oh, my word. Obviously, not Selena Gomez. I literally was thinking that. No. <laughs> That's crazy. No, but Selena could play. You could. That could be a thing. Yeah. She could, yeah. yeah. But she's Latina and I'm yeah, Japanese. You'd, you'd so you'd want a Japanese I, actress. Yeah. 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 I'd have to think about that. We'll we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Jacob, have you, have you ever put thought into that? I would either I would cast my boy Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, but isn't he older? Like Well, so you're saying if I played somebody else. No, if someone was playing you in a movie. Uh or you could do the other way around. I too. think Jacob Tremblay is okay. super cool. Um I think uh, I have a friend named Gavin Magnus yeah. and he's like always I've like been a fan of his since he was like probably 12 years old and I've helped him a lot with different things and I think he would be good. I don't know if he's an actor, but I think he could pull it off. We can teach him how to act. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you get a good acting coach and you're good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I was going to ask Audrey something and I forgot what it was, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. So. Audrey, you've been kind of labeled bedroom pop before, quote unquote bedroom pop. Have I? Does bedroom pop, is that a real thing? I always, because yeah. that was like a thing that like, was like a quarantine, it like came out kind of out of quarantine. I felt like it peaked like 2020, 2021. Yeah. When people mention that, does that, do you find that offensive? Do you like, or do those people like, don't put me in a box or like, don't put labels on me or? No, I, I mean, I think it's, dope because that really was what it was it was exactly what the label is and i think it was really cool that people just especially during quarantine we kind of didn't have a choice but to make bedroom pop music right. and i think it's still like my favorite genre of music because it's just very easy and and it's nice to listen to it's and, warm to yeah, listen to yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. um you, next will be like the fire mixtape where you just like spit bars <laughs> yeah. i would love that yeah it's in the works yeah it's in the works for sure all right guys we have a little game that we play here at pop dust called the magic box okay. and uh uh we're gonna do that right now Do I, I, oh, yeah. so now, okay. Yes. What, what'd you get? What is your favorite reality show? Oh, oh man. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, there's a couple that come to mind. I think Keeping Up with the Kardashians. No. Oh, you're a Kardashian fan. I think it's a great show. But which Kardashian are you watching it for? Like the new Hulu, Hulu uh, version? I'm, I'm watching it for Kendall. Let's go. That's my favorite. <laughs> nah. oh, I love this interview. This is the best one I've ever done. <laughs> okay, do you have a favorite reality show, Audrey? Love is Blind. Love is Blind. Okay, she likes the dating show. That's my favorite. Oh my God, are you watching uh, season six right now? I've been like saving it so I can just binge it. No spoilers. 
No spoilers. It's the best please. one. It's is best. it really? It's the best okay, because like, the last gonna, one was really yes. good. You're, you're gonna be. I'm excited. Okay, so Audrey can pick one. All right, Audrey. She's looking. No, you can't, look, right? <laughs> can't look. You get rules. you get kicked off the show if you look. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. What's your ideal first date? Ideal first date. <laughs> yeah. Aw, wait. I want to know. Um. Uh, not a movie. Because you can't talk. I agree. Yeah, not a movie. Somewhere that we like can be in real life with each other like get a taste of real life but it's still like a date like a social thing does that make sense <laughs> yeah, yeah it tastes tastes that real life like five percent sense i kind of like <laughs> like like an activity like yeah. uh like one of those like traps mini golfing like mini- dinner's cool but it's like yeah yeah it's, all right i feel like if you do dinner for a first date there's pressure to enjoy the meal yeah. Like if you get, oh, I never if you get like a eat. if you get a crappy I'm a dinner meal. kind of girl guys I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> have you well, ever been on a ramen date? I have, but it wasn't That's the first. That's a terrible. Was your first? No, That's a terrible it food date. Why? You're like <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> it's so hard to eat the ramen. And you have to use those big spoons and you're like <laughs> It's dope. You're though. making me kind of want ramen right now. Oh, ramen yeah. does sound pretty good. Let's go oh get ramen. God. Yeah, we're we're taking, <laughs> It's about noon right now, so we're thinking about lunch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, pick the question. How much do you miss Vine? <laughs> wow. Oh, Damn, that's a good out. one. That's, I miss Vine so much. Really? If anyone wants to revine for revine. You know what? You know what's funny is you um, want to revine for revine. When you hear a name drop, I just, <laughs> I just, I just interviewed. Um, I just did a th- uh, photo shoot with Jack and Jack. Oh wow, they're and, cool. And they were like, "We don't miss Vine at all. We like what? don't miss it. We're like good with Vine not existing. Yeah. So, but you miss it. I miss it. Yeah. I miss it a lot. It's a touchy subject for me. Probably because they like were posting a lot on it. I don't know if you were yeah, posting I was a lot. Just like, I was mainly yeah. just a watcher. But they were like, you know, they, they were, were like in famous it. on yeah, Vine. Yeah, they got famous from Interesting. Vine. Wait, guys, fuck, Mary kill, Vine, Instagram, oh. and TikTok. Oh, that's so easy. You go first. Mm. Um, I would... I'm I would, fucking them I all. I would fuck... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wild. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I feel like I can't even say anything after that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I would fuck Vine and mm-hmm. and uh, what are the other ones? Instagram, TikTok. Oh, yeah. I would I would fuck Vine. I would um, I would kill TikTok. I guess I would marry Instagram. I I, yeah. Instagram killing like TikTok's stable. crazy. I would kill it, all of them. Instagram's like Vine. the stable one. Instagram's like the like the the dependable one. You know, I'm dead. not Instagram not super exciting. Has memes. It's going to be a lot of like nights at home watching Netflix. And you're not going to do anything crazy, but it's going to be dependable. They're going to be TikTok there for you. is just oh like brain rot. Mm-hmm. TikTok is brain rot. Well, disrespectful. Number one, uh, <laughs> I, I would know. say, I would actually, I'd be, I'd be. Fucking TikTok. Let's go. And I'd, I'd marry Let's the fuck. I'd marry the shit out of Instagram, <laughs> and then I, I'd have to kill Vine. But it would be one of those things where it's like Vine. I hate to do this to you. Actually, maybe I'd marry Vine and I'd kill Instagram. Oh, mm. you'd well. fuck TikTok. Okay. I'd be fucking. <laughs> Can you explain why? <laughs> I just why? love this game. It's such a fun excuse yeah. to say crazy things. And we'll things. do we'll do one more, one more, guys. Yeah, all right. This one's a joint question. Yeah, joint question. (laughs) Yeah, you would both answer that one. (laughs) Best way to get over a breakup. Picture them pooping. (laughs) Shut up. Picture them just taking a massive shit. (laughs) And you literally will be like, yep, I'm over it. Damn. I would like that. Uh, Yeah, that's not a bad answer. That doesn't help me. I'm just kidding. (laughs) What's, What's your real answer, Audrey? Uh, my real answer 
Shit, I'm I'm still trying to figure it out. Honestly, I I don't know. Aww. I don't know. Audrey, we're here for you. Thanks, Jacob. That'll be like the subject of your next EP. Will be like how to get over a breakup. That's it actually. How to it actually I have a is. answer. You block the name of it. No, block. but that's like the concept. Yeah, but of Demi, it. Demi, let's turn it back to you. What's your answer? What's the best way to get over a breakup? Block. Block. Just, block. just cut it off. Just, just cut it off. Cold hearted yeah. over there. But Demi. what if it? What if it didn't end badly? That's rough. I've had. Have you ever been friends with an ex? Have, have yeah. You, yeah. And it's it's an interesting thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, how do you get over a breakup, Jake? I think you can only do that if you actually never really were like in love with them. You know? Mm -hmm. That's the only way it, you can do it. And you're like, like we'll yo, just be friends. Um, we'll take the good parts. You know what I mean? That makes yeah. sense. I would say the real way to get over a breakup is to like allow yourself to heal. Mm -hmm. Like if you try to f cover up with somebody else or move on yeah. too fast, you end up feeling <clears throat> even worse. And you think it helps in the moment, but it doesn't. And like, the, I feel like the proper way, the mature way is to be like, okay, this sucks and sit with it for a while and go through the steps of healing from it. It's really boring. I'd love to say just like picture them pooping because that's more fun. It could work. And you and then you're just like, oh, but, but it's temporary. It's, it's temporary because then you picture them smiling. Mm. You just want to be there with them <laughs> in that moment. You want to, and then you're in a toxic head. relationship, and you're back. Oh, in so, so much. <laughs> yeah. So, long story short, you got you got to oh, you just okay. got to cut it off clean. Cut it off clean. Yeah. 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 Come to a conclusion. <laughs> yes. Take me back, yeah. please. All right, guys, we should wrap this up. Dim, you got you got. <laughs> 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 That's the <laughs> most beautiful thing. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. No, but <laughs> before, before we really wrap it up, what we got going on? Um, where this come? This is this is March. So we got going okay. on like you know late spring, early summer. What's your plans moving forward here? World domination. Yeah. Um, Tell the people what to expect. Expect chaos. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> expect. Yeah. A lot of music. Expect not a million, but a billion streams. Yeah. Expect, okay. all right, no, in all seriousness, a lot of cool music, <laughs> some acting, tour. We're going to get back on tour, Let's and it's go. going to be fun. And Audrey and I are going to go on tour together. Are we? We really? are. Really? Right, you already mm -hmm. signed the paperwork. Yeah. Yeah, we're going on tour. <laughs> you don't sorry. remember doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Adam. Oh, okay, no. Adam, oh, you signed your it? your manager signed it for you. Okay. Yeah, Adam's yeah, not my manager. Right, well, okay. He doesn't tell me what to do. Oh. Well, he signed oh. it. <laughs> well, he signed Yeah, okay. So, Audrey, what you got going on? Uh, Same thing. Just dropping a lot of music and seeing what happens. Solo stuff or collabs? Solo stuff. Solo stuff. No, this yeah. is a collab's coming. This is a collab, yeah. 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 Fall 24. SZA X. That, that's really Audrey soon. Nigger. That would be that's crazy. I'm telling you, that breaks the internet. Yeah. Breaks the world. That's it breaks the world. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to be it. Let's get out of here. As always, go to popdust.com for the latest in pop culture and music news. Follow me on Instagram at Jordan Edwards Studio. Follow Demi at Demi underscore Ramos. Hey. And yeah, go in and listen to all our past episodes. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Pop dust, the best place to go when you want pop dust. Let's go.